Hey, I like how I fit under the slide out. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. Monday morning at the mothership means a new coach. We're going to check out 1358, the latest from Marathon. That's this beauty behind me. So come along. We're going to go through the coach, show you the floor plan, show you some unique features that I really like and we're gonna be able to see a new coach. As you can see, it's a busy morning on the production floor. Everything from amazing paint jobs to new shells on the floor. Marathon is pumping out coaches. And the latest from Marathon is right here, 1358. This is an H3 double slide bunk coach. What about that paint job, isn't that beautiful? Another thing I wanna show off, I feel like I'm talking a million miles an hour, like a tobacco auctioneer, do you guys hear that? Look at these chromed louvers, isn't that cool? Hello, hello, nice, uh, nice mirror. Uh, paint job, who did this paint job, Sarah? Pete Sutton paint job. Um, Sarah and Pete al alternate between uh, coaches, odds and evens. So 1358 was done by Pete Sutton, along with um, uh, the customer's input, but take a look at uh, the detail right here. I don't know if you can get it, John, but I love the texturing that you can see. That's it. Look at that. The texturing that you can see on there is kind of a theme that plays throughout the coach. It's just, it's well done because it's kind of subtle. It's not too strong. And I think John started off by showing you the front. Uh, we're going to go inside. Oh, I want to show the plumbing bay. Let's go around and show the plumbing bay. One of the things that uh, when we talk about our new series of videos we're doing, why you would choose Marathon, uh, and this is not part of that series, but quite frankly, every Marathon Monday is why would you choose Marathon because it's all about doing your research and this is part of your research. Fit and finish. Um, take a look at this inside here. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? from something you don't see or anyone is supposed to see, the inner workings of the plumbing bay, it's just really finished well. And one of the things that always stands out is all of our uh, exposed or not exposed um, portions that you don't even see, like the inside of cabinetry, are always finished. No bare edges, no bare uh, wood. And actually, if I can close this and show you guys, lock that into place there. Look how pretty that is. And it doesn't just need to be pretty, it needs to be functional. Those are your water shutoffs. And you see that you've got a small Crestron TechLink system um, readout here. This tells you not only um, what your tanks are doing. You know, you can go on here and see what your inverters are doing, your tanks, uh, your, the status of your generator, but you can go back and put your awnings in and out right here from this little pad. Isn't that nice? You don't have to go in the coach. You can stand out here on the driver's side and put your awnings in and out and visual, visibly watch them come in and out. Anyway, I wanted to show you that before we went inside. We can walk this way, John. Because um, I really like our plumbing bay. Another thing is, uh, you know, they have to be functional. And so fit and finish is one thing and aesthetically pleasing uh, is uh, important. But it's got to be functional. It's got to work. Look at that entry door. Isn't that pretty? It's got this gray and black wood grain uh, theme that extends from the handle <clears throat> to this trim piece here all the way through the dash. And if I close the door and reopen it, you'll see the lighting on this stairwell, not just on the stairwell, which times out after a certain portion, which is also customizable. It can be set, that feature can be set to stay on as long as your door is open. All of these interior uh, lights that are indirect lighting will stay open it all, or stay on. It also lights these back panels here, which is really nice. 
Before we go further, John, I want to sit in this cockpit. If you want to come on down here, I'm going to sit down here. One thing that uh, John and Sarah and I, yeah, wherever you need to get your shot. One thing we were talking about this morning is this fusion system. Um, I'm a big fan of being able to listen to music uh, through my phone, uh, streaming. Um, the app that I use, I've been using for seven or eight years, uh, subscription-based streaming. Uh, and uh, I have my playlists, and I want to be able to sit down and play my playlists and playing it through the fusion system and through the cockpit speakers. We were playing um, an artist not to be named here earlier, uh, right before we went live, and the music coming through the speakers was really, really great. So I love the flexibility of that fusion system in our cockpit in our, uh, for the driver and for the co-pilot. I also am a big fan of our GPS system because when you need it, it's there. When you don't, it's gone. And it gives a really nice clean finish as you see, I just lowered it, and then with the push of a button, it can come right back. Okay, enough about the pilot and the co-pilot, because unless we're driving it, I'm not going to show you too much. Let's take a look at this brand new coach. H3 double slide bunk coach. One of the cool features of a bunk coach is you don't lose anything. Bath and a half in this coach. So engineered properly, bath and a half with adult-sized bunks and I'm gonna show you some of the flexibility of that. Uh, John, take a look at that. Fireplace is turned on, and it's just really finished well. And right behind that fireplace is a 32-inch smart TV. Now, if you need it, it's there. If you don't, it's gone, just like that GPS on our dash. Isn't that cool? I'm a, I, I really like that, too. The decor in here is beautiful. Um, big props to Brenda Kraft, who uh, designed this coach, but uh, she also decored it and uh, got it ready. Isn't that something? It's cool to see that TV come up, and when you need it, it's there. Of course, it also has a TV over the cockpit. All right, so jackknifing sofa, as you guys know, uh, one of the features I will show you is this little hit and button button over here. I almost called it a button. That's from Family Man, if you guys know your Christmas movies. Nice to be able to extend this L-shaped dinette out. And not only that, but you've got this extension here so that you've got more room for the people that are actually sitting in here. And then, of course, as you know, it pivots out so that people can get in and out much easier. I always like when you're not using your dinette to have it moved all the way in because it creates, <clears throat> excuse me, more space here in the salon and galley area. So I'm gonna bring it all the way in and show you just how much space it creates. It comes all the way in to right there. And then this guy goes all the way tucked back in. I think it achieves an additional 14 inches, maybe a hair more of seating area for a additional person to sit there. But you see how much room is created when you're not using your dinette in this walkway. So very cool. Let's show the ceiling. Big fan of this ceiling because it's very versatile. You have the ability to have that light on. You have that ability to turn that light off. Ceiling accents can go on, ceiling accents can go off. Style lights, let's just throw all accents off, all accents on, that's so cool. Man, anyway, over to the galley. One of the things that I was talking this morning with Dave Bash about, our uh, good friend of the show and co-host, is our soft closing cabinets. Um, the key to soft closing cabinets in an RV is if you want soft closing, there they are. It's gonna close. Does it take time? Yes, it does. But it closes and it latches with a magnet. Now here's the key. The key is because you're in an RV and you're moving down the road, you wanna make sure that the clasp is robust enough to hold. So Marathon Engineering made sure that you could still achieve soft closing cabinets and a clasp that holds tight enough 
so that if something hits it from the backside or, or it, it jostles forward, it's not gonna just open and your dishes go flying out or whatever you have in that cabinetry. Smart thinking by our engineering team. So very cool to achieve both soft closing and you have the insurance that it's gonna stay closed when you want it to be. Take a look at the sink. Another thing that stood out to me, John, this morning is the continuation of that color. I love a Corian sink. It's for so many reasons. It looks just so beautiful against the Corian uh, contrasting of this countertop, but a Corian sink can be cleaned, can be repolished, can be repaired. And that's huge because not just from a resale standpoint when you go to sell your coach, but if you want your kitchen service and clean after a couple years of use, it can go back to a like, a like new appearance and feel when, it, when it's serviced. And that's something that your marathon service centers, whether it be Florida, Texas, or here in Oregon can take care of. Of course, push pull, and you've got drawers on this side, which are really nice. Just an additional area. I love the squared off corners. Uh, it's a very modern feel in this coach, if you can't tell. In the galley, storage is important. Storage has to be creative. So what you have here is you've got the countertop and you don't wanna skimp on the countertop, right? And you can't skimp on this beautiful Fisher Pico refrigerator. So you've got a little bit of area here. How about a pantry? Seven drawers. They're not huge, but they're adequate. And that's what's cool to the space utilization of just finding a little bit of extra storage for that owner here in the galley. Gosh, that's cool too. Here's, here's a, a good example of, you know, right on the edge of the slide out. This is the edge of the slide out behind this is slide out mechanism. Underneath, slide out mechanism. But you've got a little bit of area that could be utilized. So you've got some 12 inch uh, deep drawers or uh, shelves right there on the end of your galley. It's just well, well done. The hidden door in some of our coaches, this hidden door uh, reveals the half bath. In this floor plan, because it's bunks, washer dryer right here. Very cool. So for those of you who are like, where's the washer dryer? It's right here behind this hidden door. And take a look at the beautiful backlit feature on this door, John. That can be on, that can be off, or it can be dimmed, depending on what your uh, preference is. Speaking of preference, you don't wanna go down to your bays to get additional water bottles. I love how this area up here, which is just kind of a blank area above where the refrigerator appliance ends, you've got a little bit of room to the header of the ceiling. So dry bottle storage is in here, whether it be, um, well, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever refreshment of your preference. I like the Fisher Pico refrigerator. I, I think I like the LED lighting in here. It's a real soft kind of bluish white. It's cool. Freezer below. All right, let's talk about the bunks. I'm gonna show you, show you a few features of Marathon's bunks. Um, almost two years ago, we took the uh, iPads out of them. People weren't using them because most people, even kids these days, have their own phones, have their own iPads. So we took the iPads physically out of here because they just weren't getting used. Um, and so it's not something that we need to have in the uh, bunks. Adult size bunks, beautiful finishings in here. Big props to Brenda Kraft, who really brought the theme all the way through this coach. Lighting in here, you got a little reading light in here and I really like that. You can, this is, this is my favorite part. With the, with the push of this button, you can drive the, you can drop the privacy shades for both bunks. And it's just, it's, it's just so beautifully done. It's so quiet, it's so clean. And inside, right in here 
each individual bunk can lower or raise their own to, you know, if they want to raise it halfway or, or all the way or lower it, uh, they can do that in each individual bunk. Now, let's do this. If you don't want to use it as bunks, let's say the grandkids aren't coming with you or the kids aren't coming with you, you can drop this, and we're not gonna drop it all the way because I don't want to crush um, Brenda's pillow down there. You can drop it all the way down and drop this hanger bar. John, I don't know if you can see that. It can be a closet, it can be storage. Let's say you've got dogs and they want to sleep in here. We've seen that, by the way. Um, air conditioning and heating is in here. Uh, we've got the AC on, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I can feel cool air coming through right here. Very, very nice. Also, um, you've got outlets for each bunk. It's not just a standard um, outlet, but also it's got a USB. Very nice and well thought out. It's just a really good floor plan and the bunks are one of those things that really um, make, it, make it flexible make it a flexible floor plan because you can have a closet, you can have storage, you can use it for sleeping quarters. And then when you're not using it, you can completely close it off. It's just so nice. I love, I love the finish. Uh, what a beautiful wall this is, John. I really, really like that. Lots of, I, lo I like these, um, it's really nice. L the buttons on here were well thought out too as far as where they are in sequence with everything. That's really, really nice. Hmm. Okay, so that's the bunks into the water closet here. Backsplash is beautiful in here indirect lighting underneath the coach, or excuse me, underneath the cabinetry. Really nice for at night, so that you don't have to have the spotlights on. Storage behind the commode and above. Isn't that great? John, I'm gonna let you come in here take a look at that shower one of the things I want you to really be able to see you guys is the shower caddy take a look at the Corian shower caddy isn't that detailed well I love that band of tile black tile against that taupe or that it's kind of a grayish taupe it's beautiful all right so now we're in the bedroom and of course you know throughout this coach there's pocket doors you can shut off the bathroom you can shut off the uh, this entire hallway that John and the camera are in right now, you can close off the entire hallway. So from the galley, you can close. The water closet, which is the bathroom, you can close. The master bedroom right here, you can close it completely off, and I'm a big fan of that because it allows privacy for those that need it. If you're in the bedroom, privacy. If you're in the, in the bunks, privacy. Or let's say the kids are going to sleep and you're spending time up in the salon watching a movie or something, preferably Steve McQueen's Bullet. If you're doing that, you can have the privacy and turn, off, turn it off. Closet space, storage space in the bedroom, massive. Take a look at how deep these guys are. Fully adjustable. Fully adjustable. I love that. I like this too. It's deep. Shirt closet, two drawers. Nice long drawers on each side. 
of the bed and good size cabinetry, uh, excuse me, countertops on each side also so that you have room to you know, lay down your watch or uh, your phone or whatever. Um, here's your audio visual, <coughs> excuse me. Audio visual was moved. Uh, a lot of you have seen it uh, behind the commode. We've got it right here. I don't wanna also miss out heated floors throughout on this coach. We've got a little slide lock here, which is really nice addition. And then take a look at that, just like if you were in an airplane, that hidden storage, I call it hidden because it doesn't appear to be storage, it just appears to be the header above the bed, which as you see is articulated all the way up. The reason for doing that is not just to be able to sit up in bed, but it creates more space in your walking area when you're not in your bed. But I really like this. There's a lot of room in this storage. And then you just lock it right there so it doesn't come down. Good size TV, but the TV is installed so that you get all this natural light coming in. And when the bed is down, you've got natural light coming through the backside of the rear slide out, but also behind the headboard. It's got a beautiful headboard in it too. In fact, let's put that, let's put that bed down real quick and you can see a little bit of that headboard that Brenda styled in this coach. Isn't that pretty? I won't put the bed all the way down, but, and also to get through that, that, that uh, headboard goes flops down and you can go for emergency exit uh, needs and go right through that window. All right, John, I'm going to switch sides with you and give everybody what they want to see, which is that half bath. Bath and a half is important in a coach. Uh, every marathon moving forward over the last couple of years has had a bath and a half because our customers really want it. So here it is, half bath um, with that covered commode. You don't want to be looking at just a bare toilet. So we cover it and also those coverings come off very easy to be cleaned if needed. Storage behind, um, kind of hard to see John from your angle, but I'll let you pivot around. Just a little bit of area that was uh, back here. You know, the engine compartment is back here. Wiring is back here. The wall coverings in this coach are beautiful. <clears throat> Very modern feel in this coach. I want to show one thing that really stood out to me. It's a small detail, you guys. Take a look at that hanger right there. That is a towel hanger. Look how cool that is. Very modern in styling. It just goes with the whole theme of this coach. Coach 1358. Beautiful floors too. I love the large tiles. Here's a little bit more. Look at this. This is eight shelves. Is it eight? Six. I overcounted. Sorry guys. I do math. Math I do. Really nice shelving that can be moved to, you know, quite frankly, the, the whole shelf can come out. If you don't need this and you need more, more area in here, it's manifest destiny. Just jump in there and take it out. But those are really nice and deep. Just a good, good looking coach too. Storage underneath the bed. Of course, you got all of the technology that you would want in a luxury RV, uh, the TechLink system, the Crestron system in this coach, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is fantastic. The audio visual is good. And if you've never been in a marathon and listened to an acapella version of the Beach Boys uh, singing, this is the place to stand. You put it on Bluetooth through the, through the stereo system and the surround sound in this salon is incredible. So I think Sarah's got a few questions for us before we get out of here for the day. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. I do have a couple questions for you. Um, so one of the first ones is we have a question about the black box on the windshield. I'll get out of your way. Yeah, let's talk about that. Someone asked, uh, who asked that question? That's a good question. Um, let me look. That we is a very a good question. From Richard Lawrence. Oh, our good friend Richard Lawrence. In fact, Richard, I mentioned you this morning when talk about creative storage. Creative storage, one of the coolest coaches Marathon's built in the last couple of years. 
Uh, Richard, your coach is a fantastic coach. Hope you are doing well down in Florida. Anyway, what you are seeing here is the latest technology from Prevo. So the Prevo, I think it's called the Fusion System, and someone's going to correct me, and that's okay if you do. There are some safety features from Prevo that were that are in the last 10 or so coaches. 1358, which we are in today, has those features. You will also see, if John, if you can get this right here, you see this, it's, uh, it's hidden from the driver. Aesthetically, it doesn't really, uh, you can't really see it when you're driving or when you walk into the coach. But what you see right here is what they call a heads up display. Now, what that does is not what you would think heads up display really means. I mean, when I think of heads up display, I think it's gonna put the miles per hour on my windshield like an old Corvette or something. What it does is when you are get, it's a lane mitigation system. So this box and this feature right here work, work along with the camera system. And of course we have a high def 360 camera system in here. They all work together to create a lane mitigation system and alarming system to let you know, hey, you're straying from your lane, or hey, you know, we all know about the braking system in the Prevo chassis, but this is just adding on to that safety. It throws a red bar up here in front of you on the windshield and lights to let you know, hey, you know, you're coming up on somebody, you need to hit the brakes. And of course, the, the coach has a safety system built in to help your braking assist. But um, yeah, good question. Thank you uh, for asking that, Richard. Okay, so we do have a couple more. Deborah Heaps would like to know, how big is the shower? How big is the shower? Dimensionally, I don't know. But I am six foot, 220, hopefully losing some of that 220-ness. And I'll get in it for you. I will show you at six foot 220, I'm in this shower and I got a lot of room and I got the echoes. Oh, I could sing in here. I like it. Uh, the flexibility of how we're having the rain shower head and the wand. This is a really, really beautiful wand uh, for the shower head. I really like that. But as you can see, there's a lot of room in this shower for you to move around or what have you. Getting clean is important, yo. Good question. Anything else, Sarah? Um, yes, we have a question from Theodore, whose last name I'm afraid I can't pronounce. That's okay. Um, he wants to know if we've gone solar panel standard yet. Oh, if Ted. Not, then why not? Good question. I'm going to tell you why. We don't have solar technology in our coaches and why you're going to be hard pressed to find a uh, luxury converter that that powers all of this with solar technology. It's not stable. So, and, and I'm sure I'm sure Ted's gonna come back or someone's gonna come back and tell me it is. Here's the thing, what we have found is that powering all of the systems in a coach is not, um, well, not everybody lives in a sunny area, Ted, and I think, I think you guys know that. We've got customers and clients all over the world but uh, it's one of those things where we want, when the customer comes in the coach, we want the, the, everything working. We want them to have the ability to turn on the air conditioning, the fireplace, the TVs, the lighting, the refrigerator needs to be working. And if it's solar powered, um, from my non-engineer standpoint, it is, um, it's not as reliable for the customer to be working at all times or to keep a charge than the batteries. Um, so that being said, that's why we don't. We do have a small solar panel on the roof, which sends a small trickle charge to the 20 kW Powertech generator, which is literally right below where I'm standing right now in this coach. So good question. Thank you for the question about solar technology. I have seen people buying um, older coaches, like 20, 25 year old coaches, and uh, retrofitting them with solar panel technology to power the coach or to power a portion of that coach. 
One last question from Jake Breaks Welding. Oh, I like Jake. He's, he's a good friend of the show, Jake Breaks Welding. What's he got for us today? He wants to know if it has a flip down TV. Yes, it does. Let's show it. Let's show it. So we already showed you the 32 inch TV up. We're gonna put that TV down. Just so if, for those of you who didn't uh, see us, I like it finished down because you don't know it's there until you need it. Very cool. And then right above the cockpit, you've got that TV. Now here's the deal. We have seen, and there's been conversations of people saying, well, we don't need a TV over the cockpit anymore. And the minute you take it away, people are gonna be like, oh, where's my TV over the cockpit? There it is. The thing about Marathon is we do custom builds. This coach right here was built with a TV in the bedroom over the cockpit, over here on the curb side where you can watch it from here. You could actually move these chairs if you wanted to, but there's also a very large smart TV 4K feed down in the entertainment bay in bay three on the dryer, on the curb side. Great question. Jake Breaks Welding, good friend of the show. TV going up. I think that's it, everybody. So funny. Uh, we do these shows. How many shows have we done? We've done a ton of shows over the last four or five years. And my job with Marathon Mondays, because I'm in sales, you guys. You guys know that. My paramount job with Marathon is to sell coaches to you guys. But also, bringing these shows to you is my job every Monday to help you decide why you would choose Marathon. We've seen several examples this morning. If I stepped out of my logoed shirt and my business card and said, why would you choose Marathon? That's why we're doing that series. But also this morning, you got a good example of why you would choose Marathon. The fit and finish of this coach is second to none. There is no one that does fit and finish better in the industry than Marathon. Look at this paint job. The paint jobs that Marathon's been putting out over the last couple of years arguably are some of the best paint jobs in the industry, not only from quality and longevity of the product of that paint job, but stylistically dynamic stuff. We have shown you coaches painted that are just absolutely amazing. From barbed wire on it, to the smoke, to how about an American flag on the side? One of, one, I mean, one of Sarah's best works is that eagle and the American flag coach that we've seen. That's coach 1366, a coach that I'm really happy to show you. Uh, but look at Pete Sutton's 1358 that we're standing in right now. Beautiful, beautiful, uh, as they say in New York in the Bronx, beautiful stylings. Anyway, Marathon's quality stands out when I walk through these coaches and I do it every day. And I love bringing it to you every Monday. I hope that was cheesy enough for you guys to deal with. Be yourself and do good things. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna get out of here for the day. I hope you guys have a good week. Take care of each other. And to all of you mothers out there, to my wife, to my mother, to my mother-in-law, to my sister, everybody who's mothers, thank you so much for everything that you do for, for uh, being a mother. Uh, I've, I've seen my wife do some amazing things with our two little ones and um, she's a fantastic lady. So. I'm blessed to uh, be married to her and have children with her. That being said, I'm gonna get out of this coach. Take care of each other. See ya.